time once again, baby. Another episode of This Old Outboard coming right at you. All right, it's a beautiful day again today. Everybody took off and went to St. John's River, and unfortunately, I never did a day off. Got to start tearing this 55 apart. First thing I'm going to do is pull the gear case off and then tear the power head apart. And uh, I've got the new screen that goes in here so it won't suck any crap through there. I think that's what happened when it was in the tank. I think it was the day I blew this thing up. Ever since I blew this thing up, when I started it on full throttle, it just never seemed the same. But thermostat, brand new, not working. Could it be clogged, hanging open? I'm gonna find out, and I think if it's if it's bad, I think if there's a place here locally I can pick up a new one. Let me get started, man. I'm gonna lower this thing down, disconnect the shift shaft under the carbs and the butt. Yeah, I really love this motor, man. Really love this motor. Speaking of motors, had a guy who was waiting for me to look at his outboard. Turned out to be a 1974 25 horse Johnson. It was a disaster. It was, you know, a build. It wasn't just a, you know, check my motor out thing. It was a, it was a build. You know, it looked like a a parts motor totally tore apart anyway i just told him you know it was honest said man you know you're looking at a build here this isn't uh, just to check out my motor and see what's wrong with it it was a total build plus it didn't match the boat he had so you know he had this 16 foot real nice aluminum john boat and he was like oh i was gonna cut the trance i'm like man don't screw that boat up and then he showed me the picture of the boat and the and the rating on it. it was rated for a 40 20 inch shaft i said man i got a 40 sitting right over here don't screw the boat up don't put your money in this thing don't cut the boat buy another motor i'll sell you my give you a deal on it so he's going to think about it and see what you know and he was happy that, you know, I was honest with him. I could have taken that thing in and, and spent, you know, way too much time on it. So this one's pretty easy to get to once the dam starter's out of the way. That 70 horse down there, by the way, the 70 is still going strong. And the boat hasn't sunk. <laughs> And I told him, I said, hey man, no more of that boat sinking. You know, it's just stupid. Anyway, that thing, man, to get this off, total pain in the boot. Yeah, I love this motor, man. Love it. And 60's going to go on next. And we'll see where I'm at there. And a guy comment, and he said the 60 weighed about 70 pounds more. And I'm like, what? Well, that ain't no good. So I looked it up, it's 42 pounds. So I'm hoping, you know, the extra weight is going to be worth it. Putting, putting on there. Three things about the weight. Well, just as I was afraid of, here's the screen. And looks like I've got to take the damn pump off to get this puppy in there. All right. 
you know that time I blew the motor up starting it fast start I was wondering you know what seemed like I grabbed that handle pulled it back and popped it into reverse for a split second well, after watching it back I don't think I did but you know seemed to me all that water that blew out of here and this thing was spinning you know it doesn't take long to burn up an impeller is what I'm trying to say <laughs> she looks good oh man There it is, straight down there. I can see it. I gotta take all this off to replace that? You're kidding me. I got a hold of it. I don't think it's gonna be this easy though. Yeah, it is, son of a gun. But, I still gotta take this plate off. It's not gonna come past the plate. So I just pull the whole frickin' shaft down or what? Maybe I should go uh, look at the schematic, see what I'm dealing with before I do anything else. So I said, damn man, I got the freaking manual. All I gotta do is pull it out and look at it. And according to this, that, that uh, seal housing top piece should pull right up it's just got an o-ring keeps it snug and under that's the shins and the bearings and blah -de -de blah 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 and look here something is happening damn it that's how you get it out boys and girls now I didn't read that in the manual did not say that, I just assumed that's how it was done. Alright, so that wasn't too bad other than bleeding like a stuck piglet. There she is. There she is. <laughs> so this puppy goes in that way. Let's get the new one in there and put this damn thing back together. And she just drops right in, I guess. Tuck it in a little bit. Oh, it had a couple little... I'll show you on the old one. These little tabs back here. Which I think once it's put in there, little tabs hold it. Make sure it's all the way. It's moving. Alright, that's it. That's it. Alright, back in business, baby. Uh, another had to video. Ain't a how to, it's a had to. Holy mackerel, you're not going to believe what just happened. <laughs> Look at this mess. Oh my god. Water. Water. Oh. Oh man. So, the guy that came this morning with the 25 horse. Johnson wanted me to look at it and I told him it wasn't worth me doing anything with it and spending the money. I said, well, I got, a, you know, the boat he had was ready for a 40. I said, I got a 40 horse right over here for you. He goes, all right, let me think about it. Well, he came back and got it. Ah. <laughs> So I had to take the 60 off the stand, put the 40 on the stand, put it in the tank, and him and I, you know, muscled that thing around here. And then because of all the crap and what was going on, I said, let's just 
drag this thing out the back here and dump it in your car. So we emptied out the tank and dragged it back there. <laughs> he was late to pick up his wife. Whew. And the original plan was he, you know, said he he helped me put the 60 back on. I'm like, get out of here, go get your wife. So 40 horse gone. Well, back to normal. Uh, stay tuned for part two. <laughs> Man, that was a uh, that was a workout. It's part two, baby. <laughs> I'm leaving the gear case off. The uh, new screen is in. And just got to put the pump and all that crap back on. But I'm going to leave it off and do my hose trick. Hook my hose up to the water tube there. And pull this cover off. And blow everything out. Because I'm sure this thing is clogged impeller everything looked fine and when i first did this thing man it was just you know jet streaming out of here then it clogged up then i took the hose and tried to back flush it that helped but without that screen in there man that thing sucked up a bunch of crap pretty sure it happened that day i blew the motor up hey my thermo hey my valve all right, so let's see what this freaking see. Look, there's. Look, I told you. Look at the leaves in there. See the leaf stuck in there? Look, I told you this thing got sucked up. Tons of crapola. That's what's going on. Brand new thermo. Won't happen no more with the new screen. Right. I think it's good. I'm going to test it. I'll drop it in some water. I'm sure it's fine. Just So there's Mr. Turkey thermometer. Hot wall wall way up there. Buck 80-ish. A little bit hot. We only need what is it, 140. Three -ish. Let's dump it in there and see if she opens up. Uh oh, my turkey thing's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, there it goes. Well, it's it's opening. It's kind of taking its time. Fireball! What's up? <laughs> so it's almost to 150 and they're still oh no they're closing up they're closing up they've almost closed they're just barely open there it is right about 143 and they, they're closed so I think they're probably good. Oh. I'm gonna pinch the hose real quick. Well, I don't see anything. I see nothing come out of there unless it floated back that way. I'm going to turn it on a little bit higher. Alright, it's on a little bit higher. Now it's coming out the pressure relief valve hole here. See if I can get my finger over the thermostat hole here. The higher it gets up in the motor, the better. Yeah, let's see if I can get them over both of them. It must be up there. 
I didn't see anything coming out or anything floating around in there. If I thought a bunch of crap would shoot out of there. All right, baby, I'm getting some water in there. Look at the freaking leaves already. I mean, just crap just dropping out of this tree. All right, so let me get my tank. I'll show you, show you my tank, how it's doing. I went down and threw a couple gallons in it this morning. And it's sitting here in the sun. You see how it's all swollen up. So, you know... It's not leaking and you know my vent works and the last thing that I touched on it that day when I was screwing around and with the primer bulb and the hose and everything was this puppy so I think it was leaking here and I got to get some Teflon tape on it so I screwed that one in and that's th that last run seemed to help. When I hook that back up to here, it's really going to come shooting out. in the tank for some reason. again for tuning in to this week's episode of This Old Outboard. Oh yeah baby, tons more stuff coming your way. 
It's the Sold Out Bold, baby. You know the channel. Don't forget to subscribe.